Hello guys, welcome to Daddy Share Space and welcome to my garage shop. So here I have an assortment of ratchets of different types. And over here I have my manual ratchets or a couple of them. I have multiple of these manual ratchets because oftentimes when I'm going to work on a project, I can't find it. So I end up just buying another one in a pinch. Over time, I upgraded and I moved on to purchasing these Milwaukee M12 battery powered ratchets. And here I have three of the ones that I have here in the shop. I have the quarter inch, the three eighths. Both of these are the standard non-fuel versions. This is the fuel extended reach three eighths ratchet. And these here are not actually ratchets. They are Im right angle impacts. And I have found these to be very helpful in the shop. This is my 3 8 and then this is my half inch. So I'm just going to set these out here so you can kind of get a look at the assortment of tools. Now right here in between the ratchets, I have a couple of Pittsburgh, it says Pittsburgh Pro. These are torque wrenches. And as I progressed in my auto mechanic skills, when I was younger and I would change things like brakes and do anything on the car i would just you know snug it up and you know tighten it past tight right and then you know call it good but over time of reading my auto mechanic manuals you would see something called a torque spec and as i've grown in my auto mechanic skills i have decided to move closer to being like an ASC certified mechanic not that i am one but basically using those torque specs to my advantage because those torque specs and basically make it to where I'm not gonna snap off the head of any bolts, ask me how I know, and then also the bolt is not gonna come loose because, or come loose because of the fact that I tightened it to manufacturer specifications. So here, opening this one here, this is a low tech model. It just has a screw on the end and then you move it, you twist it to get to your foot pounds. So this one is in foot pounds. And then on the other side, you have kilograms and centimeters worth of um, power or strength to tighten with this particular torque wrench. So this one here is my quarter inch for my smaller jobs. And then, and this one here, I have my half inch. And it also is in, uh, well, this one actually has Newton meters and it also has foot pounds as well. So a little bit of a variation. This one has kilograms or, or whatever. And this one has uh, Newton meters. Actually, let me look, let me double check that. This one may have, it may be Newton meters because this one says kilometers as well, or kilometers and Newton meters. And does it say Newton meters? No, it says kilograms and CM on this particular one it does not say and it says inch pounds okay so this one is not foot pounds it's inch pounds and kilograms per centimeter so that's something i didn't quite notice so inch pounds all right and this one is meters kilograms newton meters da and then this one is foot pounds, okay? So, that is my collection thus far of torque wrenches. Now, I just recently did a job on my truck where I had to change out the brakes. And as I was doing it, I actually had watched a video of someone doing it. And I came across a couple tools that the person used on their brake job that I had never seen before. Well, one that I had never seen before, and that's actually a brake caliper compression tool that just basically is a handgun. In the past, I would break out the old C-clamp to do any kind of uh, caliper, uh, well, pushing the pistons back in on the caliper, but I upgraded to this little job right here. And basically you push it in the back and you can, you know, slide it back and forth. And then this will register, this uh, black L right here will register on the inside of the caliper and then you just squeeze it and it depresses the caliper. This right here, it works really well. I wish I'd have heard about this a long time ago. And I got it actually for about 50 bucks on Amazon. So if you uh, do have to do a brake change and you haven't heard of this tool or seen it, I would get one of these. 
it worked well. So um, I actually picked that up to do the brake job. And then I also uh, saw in that video that I watched the the person had a torque wrench that actually had um, but it was a digital torque wrench and it gave you the ability to torque and then you would actually hear a beep so you could set the time or the torque value in the digital readout and then it would give you an audible feedback as far as when you reach those torque specifications and i saw that and i was like hmm let me see how much one of those costs now i did consider getting the milwaukee version uh, which is probably about seven, eight hundred dollars a long time ago. But those are not actually made necessarily for uh, auto mechanics. You could use it, but it's more so made for, I think, like uh, electricians or something like that. They'd have to tighten certain things to a certain torque or specification. Now, when I read a lot of reviews on the Milwaukee version of that, it, it basically some people said that it didn't it, they had some issues with calibration and then you end up finding out that the calibration is only certified for a span of time and then you have to actually send it in to milwaukee i don't know what the price is for that for them to recalibrate it every so often and for me being basically a, a guy just working on his car in his own garage shop I, didn't, I just didn't really feel like I wanted to get involved in that. And then also, too, there were some people that, that purchased theirs. Maybe they sat on the shelf for a long time and it seemed like the certification was almost already up when they got it or in, you know, very early on, which seemed like a headache to actually buy a $700 tool and then have to ship it off just to get it recertified. And as I said, who knows what that price is? So I turned to Harbor Freight where I am a little member there. Like I pay the little annual $29 because they changed your whole couponing thing. It's not the way that it used to be. And so if you want to get those benefits, uh, then you need to actually sign up for their little annual deal. And I picked this up. This is a Quinn Digital. Let's move all of these to the side. So this is a Quinn Digital Torque Wrench. Now, I can't speak on the amount of quality or whatever that this thing has. I'll put some footage up showing me unboxing it. Cause I actually, you know, I bought it, I brought it home and I was, I used it actually on that brake job because I actually uh, snapped off a bolt with this one here. Um, I thought I had it set properly. Obviously I didn't. And I'm sitting there torquing down, torquing down, trusting the device as opposed to my own common sense. And I just snapped the bolt right off. And that made me have to go back and uh, switch from the new rotor or caliper bracket that I had installed back to the old one because I didn't want to go through the process of having to re-drill it out and then possibly re-threading it. So that made that job a nightmare. It's the worst brake job that I've had in ever, basically. So anyway, so here we go. This is the uh, torque wrench itself. It's a half inch. It's, uh, it's got some nice weight to it. Um, you've got a power button here. And then you've got a function button and right now I have it on 120 foot-pounds of torque. You can cycle through 
and you can change it to uh, the different types of settings. So you can actually save certain, uh, you can save some settings in here as well. But like if I want kilograms per centimeter, if I want to have, uh, you can change it to Newton meters, all of those different um, settings are available here. And as you hear that audible sound, there's a little speaker in here so that when you set your value and tighten it, you have the ability to hear audible feedback letting you know that you're where you need to be. So hit function again, that's Newton meters. And then that's inch pounds and then foot pounds. So right off the bat, I like this over the manual one because the manual one only gives me the ability to go between the two different options. And as I just learned in this video, one is inch pounds, the smaller one. This one here is inch pounds. As opposed to foot pounds. Now, of course, you can convert that yourself if you'd like. But um, yeah, inch pounds on this smaller one. And this one here has foot pounds and the Newton meters or whatever. Whereas this larger one is gonna give me the ability to get the inch pounds, the Newton meters, the foot pounds, whatever specification that I require, I'm gonna be able to get that with this particular device. Now, when I, per when I went to Harbor Freight and I picked this up, because I was actually a member there, I actually got some money off. I think it was like maybe maybe $35 off. I think this is normally like $170 and I ended up getting it for like $130 or around that price. And um, I had to go back and forth to both AutoZone and Harbor Freight when I was doing that break job because I was having a time of it. And I decided, I was telling my wife about the torque wrench and they had this one and they have a smaller one. And you know, she was like, well, you know, you should you should probably get the smaller one as well for the smaller jobs. And I was like, yeah, you know, I think that, you know, I will go ahead and do that. So, like, usually I float my ideas to my wife before I just go off and do anything. Um, we're pretty much a uh, democracy here for the most part under God's law. But we're a, a democracy in this home. So I discuss everything with my wife and I get her green light before I move forward. And since she agreed which just must have been meant when I went back to Harbor Freight to pick up the other torque wrench. I just noticed at that time that there was like two or three days and then the sale that marked both of them down was going to be over, at least for that period of time. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and unbox this uh, Quinn digital torque wrench. It's a 3 8 drive. It's got se it's a 72 inch ratchet. Um, it goes from 100 or from 5 to 100 foot pounds. It also has the visual and audible indicator. It's an LCD readout. It's got foot pounds, newton meters, inch pounds, kilograms per centimeter, and it also has degrees. So that's the uh, I guess the D on there. You can store up to nine preset settings, and it includes a protective storage case similar to this one. So looking on the back, it says it's guaranteed accurate to within plus or minus 3% clockwise, uh, reversible 72, 72 tooth ratchet mechanism, easily switches between the, the different modes, which is really good. It's got a polished finish. And let's see, it says chemical resistant comfort grip. So uh, if you get getting oils and such on here, it should be resistant to that. And it says control allows presets, torque value, change units, measurement, change mode, and operation. And you can save your readings as well. It's got uh, LED lights and an audible beep alerts you when you get to your desired torque or when it's been reached. So um, just to give you a look, I have the box to the other one here. So this is the larger one. And as you can see, it's a Quinn half inch drive digital torque wrench, 72 rip, uh, 72 tooth ratchet, five degree arc swing. It's 12.5 foot pounds all the way up to 250. So you're expanding from 100 foot pounds on the smaller one to 250 foot pounds. It provides angle readouts as well. The LCD readout, everything else is pretty much exactly the same. It looks like the only difference is going to be that it's a half inch drive and that this one goes from 12.5 up to 250 foot pounds. And obviously it's longer in length, which is going to give you 
a basically a lot more leverage when you're utilizing a tool it has a limited warranty now on both of these devices i went ahead the savings that i received which was about 30 some dollars off um, I went ahead and reinvested that back into the tool and I got the two year warranty for these. So basically, um, if I do have any kind of premature failure, then I can just take this back up to Harbor Freight and get either a replacement or a repair or what, however they deal with that. So let's go ahead and open this up. And all of these tools, as I say, is just a uh, a way to kind of add more capabilities into my uh, home shop you know I consider myself basically like my own personal DIY handyman and not just for things around the house but obviously auto mechanics yard work and care all of these things it's just my way of being able to um, save my family money by being able to do things myself so this is the device itself Let's go ahead and cut these uh, pieces of plastic off here. That's one. And two. And then let's take this box off. And then it comes with two AA batteries. Obviously an owner's manual. this out and we get these extra straps off here we could just take a look at the device there it looks very similar to the other one some torque screws in here and the body it does have a nice little weight and feel to it you've got your selector switch on top and then the way you change the batteries or put the batteries in you're going to unscrew here so we'll just unscrew the tip there and it pops out and then we'll put the batteries in put the cap back on And we'll fire it up and we're good to go. So that is your Quinn digital torque wrench, actually both. And I look forward to using these on my auto repairs here in the future. So nice little upgrade I think in the shop to have to go from using regular manual ratchets to using battery powered ratchets to battery powered right angle impacts and torque wrenches of manual and digital capacities to be able to get to dial in your auto mechanic skills and get the best results anyways guys i want to thank you for taking time to watch the video i'll see you in my next one take care